How's it going? This video is going to go over the treatment note, the progress note, and the discharge note. I've made them all into one note. And just like the eval sheet, you can come right here, you can lock it out. And you can see now we won't be able to mess up with any of these uh, headers, right? So it keeps it nice and safe so that as you're typing along quickly, you won't mess it up. Here, we can come and switch from PT to PTA or uh, student physical therapist as well. Again, changing the office, everything can be changed here um, and it will carry forward. Subjective, you'll put in. Objective, you can put in. I've made it so that it's red um, because these are things that you should be filling in. As soon as you type in something, it goes away and it's no longer red. Just like before, too, it also has the availability to be a drop down menu and you can fill that in in the database area for um, previously filled in documentation stuff. Um, makes it easy. It, I know it's simple and quick. A lot of people hate that quick and drop down menus, but it does make it fast. Um, then also um, we come down here, assessment. All of this will carry forward from the prior um, evaluation sheet. Um, and again, here's the flow sheet that comes forward, tallies all of it for you here. You can see here, uh, treatment provided by, right, and it says an employee PTA. If I click this and show more, you can see now that there's an option for a cosign. So you can come here, if you're the PT who is cosigning this, you just click on PT cosign. And again, you can add your signature just like before, click insert, drawing, We'll click on this middle arrow, got it in the scribble, and then you can type in or draw your name, your signature using your keyboard. Resize it to place, and you're good to go. The best part about what I've done with this system is that you can also come up here to the unsub menu, copy and name your current sheet. So what I would do is that I would do an, um, Rx and employee. Now you know who provided the care. You press OK and you're going to see down here at the bottom a new sheet was made. It's a duplicate of that sheet that you just made before but now you know that an employee did it. When you come up here you can click save current sheet as PDF and what's happening is that it's eliminating all those and then it's going to save your sheet as a PDF. It uses the cell A12 to find the folder. So if you, you have a folder that is named the exact same as your patient, it will find your folder in your Google Drive and then it will upload it automatically. So you don't have to download a PDF and then upload it separately. It automatically uploads it with the date and time that you clicked on the uh, save current sheet as PDF. So that's for a regular treatment note. If you want to make this into a progress note, what you would do is you right click over onto the left and do expand all rows. After doing that, you can see again, um, the all of the rows are going to expand. <laughs> so if you don't have more than two diagnoses, you can easily minus that. And again, if you're doing cash base and you don't have the doctor, you can subtract that and just hide it. Um, here you will see Everything from the evaluation is carried forward as well. Um, again, all of the blue areas are eval objective um, measurements, right? It's all brought forward. Same thing is that if you didn't want to have posture included this time, you can subtract it and it hides it, right? So it's nice and hidden. Going forward again, all of this is customizable. So if you don't want the cervical, if you don't want wrist, elbow, right? You can take all that stuff away. So if you're just doing the shoulder, there you go. Now you're just doing the shoulder. Um, if we don't want all of these, we can just subtract them. Again, special tests, everything is brought forward. So if you had customized, like, and you didn't use the anterior draw, you can see that it's brought forward from the uh, evaluation sheet. So if you change anything on the evaluation sheet, it is going to change here. It also updates onto the current findings. 
So anything you change on the front will change onto the other uh, stuff because I realize that everybody does the same special tests and not everybody treats the same way. So I want to make it as customizable as possible. Um, again, you can see this is brought forward from the eval. And that's how you make it an eval, right? If you were, your plan was to discharge, you could just put the discharge here. But carries forward everything. Uh, you can add in all the customizations. You can make it so that you don't have the doctor's notes there and you can have the cosines. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the uh, treatment, progress note, and discharge note all in one. Let me know what you think.